Good day, good people, and welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are a few things I want to get into on this Tuesday evening. But before we get into all that, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscription button, hit that notification button, and bell so that we can be notified every time I'm dropping a video. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and as always, drop a comment in that comment section. Now, let's get to today's video. So if you guys are watching the reunion of Basketball Wives that appeared last night, you will see that Jackie, Christy, and Brooke Bailey have gotten into it. And the main issue that they had was Brooke Bailey's daughter passed away. And basically she said that Jackie didn't reach out to her. And Jackie was saying that she had sent a message out to a guy named Tyler um, who works with Brooke, um, and she has sent messages to Brooke. But Brooke showed us the DMs and the text messages, and supposedly there was a text message that Jackie sent one out saying that she was praying for her, and Brooke said something a couple of days back and said thank you, but basically she said that that was all she got. Now, she did DM the Tyler guy um, and asked him to put her on the list, but... Brooke is saying that she didn't even talk to Tyler, like how she claimed that she did talk to Tyler. And I think that the main issue, before I let you guys hear what Brooke has to say, is this. She known Jackie probably for a very long time, and she thought that if all the rest of the girls reached out to her, and if VH1 reached out to her and the production team and stuff like that, if they reached out to her, how come her friend couldn't have reached out to her? And I think that that's where she's really got her feelings hurt. And you can definitely tell with this message. I'm going to let you guys listen to what she got to say. And I want you guys to drop a comment in that comment section. Do y'all think that they both were wrong in some answer? Because I do see where Jackie was saying. She reached out. But I also see what Brooke is saying. She wished that she would have done more. And if everybody else who's not as close to her can reach out, then so could she. Drop a comment in that comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this. And uh, here we go with what she got to say. Y'all tune in. Jackie sent me a very generic text prior to my daughter passing away. Jackie was on my phone two to three times a week um, talking to me. Kiki and sis, I love you. Um, trying to start a podcast with me. Trying to work on, you know, other projects outside of the show to bring to the show. So, did I consider Jackie my friend? Yes, very much so. Considered her my friend. Um, so, when my daughter passed away, her sending me a generic text. You know, maybe it was wrong for me to expect more from her. But I definitely did. You know, when you consider someone your friend, you expect certain things. And um, I know what I would have done for her if she was in that situation or how I would have been there for her. And it's not about her buying me a flower or flowers or doing anything other than being there for me. That's it. And if that was me expecting too much, then that's just what I did. And that's my fault for expecting more than what she was able to provide. So um, she never reached out to my cousin Tyler um, besides the DM of her asking to be on the guest list to come to Kayla's service. Um, and she didn't show up, nor did she DM her back to say that she wasn't going to show up. She sent the DM to Tyler asking to be on the guest list. And when we were at the reunion filming, which they didn't show, Jackie told me that she doesn't do funerals, which is fine. You didn't have to come to the funeral, nor did you have to DM uh, Tyler asking to be put on the guest list. You know, whatever, you know, it wasn't so much of what she didn't do. It's how she went about things. So the generic text like Jen wasn't able to show up to the service, but she sent me a text message that felt like a hug through the phone. She sent flowers. Even Malaysia sent text messages to me that felt like a hug through the phone, felt like a friend that's comforting you. And I don't even have that type of relationship with her. So the relationship that I have with Jackie, I just felt like, you know, um, if you can be in the middle of my marriage and trying to counsel me and my marriage and my husband, how come you can't be there for me when I take the law, have a loss of my daughter? 
So I'm done talking about it. I'm always gonna, you know, stand 10 toes down on what I say and what I do. I'm always going to be respectful when it comes to my daughter's name and her legacy. So you guys make sure you check out KMB Inc. Life and check out what we're doing for her nonprofit. And I hope that you guys all have a beautiful day. And I hope that this was a little bit of clarity because at this point, I'm really, really sick of the back and forth. I have no reason to lie. I posted my own text messages with her, DMs, all of that. Like, it is what it is. So, and I know now that we are not friends and we just have a business relationship and I'm okay with that. Have a blessed